just watched a BBC video from a few days ago, um, and it's discussing uh, or looking at uh, the rise in racist hate crimes against people of East Asian descent. Um, the reason I'm not saying the Asians is because uh, a lot of them are British citizens, but people of East Asian descent, um, particularly East Asian, um, anyone could be a victim of racism, uh, including white people. But there has been a particular problem since this pandemic began with um, people of East Asian heritage, whether they're Chinese or not, um, getting abused. It's happened uh, around the world, but, um, you know, cases in Europe and North America have been well documented. And this country, unfortunately, is no exception. So this video, it's about five or six minutes long. It, it focuses on five different people. Um, young woman, uh, middle-aged guy, an older woman, um, a professor. You know, they, these are different people. They're not all the same age group, uh, but they're all of East Asian descent. And they were all talking about abuse that they'd received. Uh, one lady said that a um, young man on the underground, I think this must be in London, uh, actually coughed on her. Like, uh, he, he kind of coughed back and not coughed, he spat on her. Um, you know, uh, others have spoken about how they've had Chinese virus hurled at them as an insult and, and so on. Uh, I totally believe this. I don't think it's embellished. Um, I do think there's been a problem and it's been seen on both sides of the Atlantic. Um, in America, it's particularly bad. There's been a number of violent cases where um, people have been attacked. Uh, I saw a video earlier, this black woman, for absolutely no reason, attacked two Chinese women in Manhattan. Um, and that sort of thing's been happening a lot. Um, in parts of the United States, actually, there is pre-existing tensions between the Black and East Asian community. Um, and, you know, this is something that needs to be really reined in on. I'm talking about the abuse. Now, racism is a problem all over the world. It's And it's always been a problem all over the world. So anyone who wants to single the West out is, is wrong. Um, I've seen some very racist attitudes from Asian countries towards outsiders, uh, whether black people or, or sometimes white people as well. Racism is a problem the world over. So no one can truthfully say their country is squeaky clean when it comes to this issue. And as a British person and as a British white person, I'm not in denial that the UK has problems. I don't think we have exceptional problems, but we have problems. And I've personally witnessed it. Before the pandemic, I have seen, uh, I've been with Chinese friends and drunks have hurled abuse. This was before the pandemic, I mean, a few years ago. And I um, I would have confronted them, but, you know, they're on the other side of the road and they stagger off. And um, I've seen it. I've personally seen it. Um, it's a very sad thing. Absolutely no one should be made to feel uncomfortable or uh, anxious just going outside. In fact, a Malaysian doctor in his video uh, was punched on the nose when he asked a guy why he didn't verbally insulted him. And it showed a picture and his, his nose is broken and bust. Um, this is happening too much. Um, so I don't think we can say it's just one or two cases. There are too many cases of this happening. Here's the problem. It's difficult. You know, ignorant people are always going to be ignorant. There is a possibility they can maybe change. But what's really important is that when these things happen, they need to be reported. So victims need to have the confidence to come forward to the police and report it. The police can't act if they don't have the information. Uh, and when that is reported, it needs to be taken seriously. Um, as for, you know, China virus and the Chinese virus and so on, uh, I do think it's very legitimate to criticise and condemn the behaviour of the Chinese government. Um, and one thing about all of this, it's very important that we don't conflate racism and uh, xenophobic abuse or abuse of East Asians in, generally, in, in general with legitimate criticism of, criticism of the Chinese government. Or even if you have a situation where, let's say you have a Chinese student and they're being quite nationalistic, 
which is plausible, and they're defending the Chinese government and, you know, someone else naturally takes issue with that. That's not racism. So we have to be a little bit careful that some of this doesn't get conflated. I'm not saying it is. Um, the sort of cases that were highlighted here are clearly just abuse, um, and there's no excuse for it. But I also see some overtures to sort of like we need to... There was a Labour MP um, who's of Chinese descent, and she was saying that we need to look at social media, how this is, uh, you know, what sort of things they're allowing on the platforms. Um, my experience of social media is that there's double standards. There are things allowed there that really shouldn't be there, and there are things that are penalised that really shouldn't be penalised. Um, but at the end of the day, like I say, no one should go through this. And my heart goes out to anyone who has been through this abuse, I think it's abhorrent. I don't blame them for being angry or scared or resentful, especially if they've lived here for years. I mean, it wouldn't be justified against anyone, but there, there's a few things that need to be done. Um, I think that victims seem to be uh, have the confidence and be encouraged to report when this happens, because I think sometimes they might be reluctant to report Particularly, maybe if English isn't the first language, and they don't want to get involved in the bureaucracy of that. But without it being reported, then the data cannot be gathered. You know, if there is a specific problem, and let's say you have a gang or individuals that are doing it more than once, and they're just you know going around trying to find a station, um, that's very important. Also, um, you know, stand up for your friends uh, if you have. East Asian friends, stand up for them, I'm sure. I'm sure anyone watching this would. I certainly would. You know, if I was with, uh, most of my friends aren't here now, but if I was with someone and, I mean, put it this way, my last girlfriend was Chinese. If I was with her and someone her like that sort of abuse, I would definitely not let it rest. I would definitely be confronting that person. And I'm not saying that to be macho or aggro, but you can't, allow that sort of abuse to sort of those sort of people to think that they can get away with it. Um, and it's not just words, it's, you know, that is something that I don't think it should just be dismissed as just words, it's just a bit of insults. No one should go through it. I've had a bit of experience of not the same thing exactly, but when I first came here, it was very much, you know, uh, about my accent, you know, are you a terrorist? The Northern Irish, so it was very much focused on that, and I did quite get quite a bit of abuse, and it was it was tough at times, you know. I got very fed up with it, and um, so I, you know, I have empathy for anyone that goes through that sort of thing, um, and it needs to be tackled. Uh, is does this mean that the UK is a racist country? Absolutely not. Um, I think compared to some parts of the world, we're pretty progressive. And I think the majority of British people would abhor this sort of behaviour. Um, but yeah, that that's I'll put a link to the video. There's absolutely no excuse for it. Whether they are Chinese or Japanese or of uh, East Asian descent in any way, there's no excuse for treating someone that way. If someone is defending the Chinese government, that's a bit different. Then, you know, they should expect some blowback. Because right now the Chinese government is rightfully um, despised by much of the world for its behaviour, and rightly so. So it's very important that we don't have a situation whereby people are making criticism of the Chinese regime and, you know, that's conflated with xenophobia, because that is a distortion. It's not. However, having said that, the sort of yobs who do this sort of thing, they're not going to be thinking about geopolitics. You know, they're just... The, they're ignorant racist jobs and as far as they they're concerned oh asian person virus or them it's just a bone-headed backward way of thinking um let me know your thoughts and if you are of east asian said have you had abuse let me know your experience um i think it's abhorrent no one should go through this and i think thugs responsible need to be held to account if you have been through it um you know as a British citizen, I am profoundly, um, you know, my heart goes out to you. You shouldn't have to go through that. And um, just understand that it's not, the majority of British people don't think like this.
But, you know, ignorance is a worldwide problem. Let me know your thoughts.